Alright, hey guys, and welcome back. This week I'm going to be taking a look at another line of transforming toys made by Select Toys, and that's the Converters line. Now, the Converters were made in 1984 by Select Toys, and they were mainly made in response to the frenzy of transforming toys like GoBots and, of course, Transformers. Now, the Converters were kind of cheap, like the MotoBots and Zybots, but they did have their plus sides to them. There were eight different types of converters that you could get for the series. The first was the Defenders, which was a line of good robots that battled the evil invader converters. You had the Super Defenders, and this was the converter's probably best line of converters robots that they made, which really competed with a lot of the high-quality Transformers toys. There were also Minibots, which were meant to compete with GoBots and other small Transformer toys that transformed into little cars and vehicles. Spies, which would transform into everyday little appliances and things like that. The Avarians, I don't know if I'm saying that quite right, and these were robots then transformed into birds and different animals. The Insectors, and these were robots then transformed into little insects and spiders. The Maladroids, which transformed into kind of like a large Gundam-looking robot and were kind of interesting and had kind of an evil affiliation to them. And there was also the Jumbo Defender toy, which was a giant bull that stood over 9 inches tall and was motorized. And there was also the playset that was made for the converters that I've only ever seen a picture of in a JC Penny catalog. I'm not sure if this was ever put out for production, because this was right around the time of the converters toy line coming to an end, so this may have only been a prototype. Alright, so let's check out some of the converter toys that I have here. I've got four of them here, a couple from each different variation. And this first one here is Calypso, and he is from the Avarians line of the Converters, and he is supposed to be a blue tropical bird, or a blue bird of prey. Uh, he would have a large beak that would go over the front of his head there, which he is unfortunately missing. It's gotten lost or broken as the years go by. The wings look really cool, and uh, kind of reminds me of Bird Person from Rick and Morty. Um, really cool looking though, love the stickering. And we'll go ahead and transform him. Now, I will say in advance, he is one of the most complicated, transformable robot toys that I have ever played with in my life. So this is going to take me probably a while to uh, get him transformed correctly. First, you flip out the wings and bring his second set of legs back around to the front. And this is where it really gets complicated. You have to switch his... Uh, talons and feet around to the back, but there's really not enough room with these giant wings and the pivot points aren't very wide to give you enough room to maneuver the rest of his body around his arms, and it's just really overly complicated. Like, this is one of the most complex toys and really unergonomic designs I've ever seen. Uh, you have to get his wings all the way behind his arms to even get these blasted little arms to pull out. As you can see, I'm really having a hard time with this. They have to wedge them out of their sockets. And now we'll take and extend his feet down while we got those. We'll flip his feet out. It's thankfully one of the easier parts. <laughs> and we've almost got them together here in the home stretch. Let's get that other arm out. Oh boy, he is, like I said, he is a nightmare to transform. There's just no room to move any of his parts. And his arms extend out a little bit. Now he would have had a sword here. Let's see, we've got him stood up. And then you turn his head around. And you actually move these wings all the way to the back. Let's see if I can get them situated properly. There we go. And, phew, that was a workout. He is finally transformed in his robot uh, mode. Really cool stickering and looks really good once you get him transformed. Looks even better once he has his sword. But I tell you, that is a really poorly designed toy with just too many pieces, and those wings make it almost impossible to transform him, but nonetheless still pretty cool. Alright, now moving along from our little bird of prey here, I'm going to be moving right into our next converter, and that is one from the Defenders line, and this was one of the ones I actually had as a kid, although I'm not sure if it's the same one, but this one is named Neptune, and as you can see, He's kind of a destroyer or like a submarine, 
had really cool stickers with the chrome, and he has a special feature here where you wind him up, and his propeller will spin around, and you can actually um, put him in like a bathtub or a sink, and he will actually move through the water. I remember playing with that a lot as a kid, and he's a really fun little toy. Extremely easy to transform. Um, although I do have to say, with a lot of these Converters toys, the joints do stick a lot. Since they are a cheaper material, they do um, tend to get stiff and they're hard to pull out. So, you know, don't worry guys, I'm really trying not to break these toys, even if it looks like I'm struggling or being forceful with them. There's just not a lot to grab onto. So once you get the legs out, we flip his arms down here, and he has little hands with a notch on the inside that you flip around to bring out his socket. Uh, he didn't come with a weapon or anything, and as you can see, he's extremely tall. He's one of the larger converters robots, and looks really cool with the chrome uh, fixtures on the front of his chest there. And I guess you can pretend they're kind of like cannons or something, maybe he uses them for. And again, really great sticker work, and just a really cool looking design for a little robot. Um, and I think these look really neat compared to like the Zybots that I reviewed last week. These are a much better quality toy. Um, now this is Cash, or Cash Register as you can see. And I, this is one of my absolute favorites just because of all the detail that went into this piece. Um, I love right on the front you can see it says Robot Market, which is just adorable. Uh, has all the little prices for things, the price checker up on the top. And uh, there's even a little feature here where you push this button and ba -doop, little cash drawer opens up and his profile card says the cash is only loyal as long as you keep feeding him. So as long as you keep giving him money, he won't turn on you. Um, so now we're going to take and we'll transform cash into his robot mode, which is pretty easy here. Although I will say again, his joints are really stiff, but that's just because he's in really good condition. Um, he's almost like brand new condition here. We'll pull his arms out, and we'll pull the legs down, and now his chest plate flips up, and his head locks over that, and his arms can extend a little bit more here. We'll actually pull those out and down. There we go, and on the other one, and there we are. There is Cash all transformed, and he certainly looks like a... Uh, Scoundrel just has that look about him, and uh, the nice number four. Love those fluorescent green eyes, and just a really cool looking little robot uh, spy. And a really cool idea making a cash register that can transform into a robot. Now, this guy, his name is Spin, and he's another one of the spies uh, robots. Now, at first, I thought he was a knockoff, but he actually is a legit uh, converter because there were a number of knockoffs made of this line. Um, and he is missing a little plastic bubble that would have gone around this roulette wheel here, and there would have been a little metal ball that would have spun around, and you could also lay him down on his back and play like a little mini game of roulette. And he's extremely basic to transform. You just flip that little head down here, and then he has a little notch on his arms here, and that just flips out like that. Same with the other one. Now his joints aren't quite as tight. They're pretty loose, so I guess he's seen some good playtime over the years. And I just extend his legs down. And there we go, he's all transformed. And that is his correct transformation in his uh, alternate mode. He's a stand-up roulette wheel, I think supposed to be kind of like a slot machine, so I don't think that translated over very well um, with a language barrier from like Taiwan to Japanese, you know, because pachinko machines generally stand up. Alright guys, well I hope you enjoyed taking a look at the line of Converters Transformable Toys with me today. They're pretty neat, even though I think they're kind of in that cheap knockoff territory, but still pretty cool. I'll see you back here next time. Hey guys, if you like the video that you just watched, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. And if you do the Facebook or Twitter thing, follow me at hashtag KingerRetro. See you next time.